Hello, Terry here, and we are back with a new episode of Apple Pie, and yeah, this time we are playing as Detective, which is nice, awesome, amazing, why can't we pass through this area? Hello, I've heard the commotion, I'd be happy to help. Yup, you could help by giving us more food from the buffet. Thanks for your help. <laughs> why is this the first option? Oh my god. Uh, what is your story? I've been a mate here for years. At dinner time, I was asked to bring the mackerel to Mr. Leabal. Detective, you must be suspecting me. Kinda. I am one of the few people who know where the mackerel was. One of the few. And where was it? I don't know, if I can tell you, you should ask Mr. Mr. Leabal. Okay. Then. Uh, who do you think did it? I don't know. Nobody who's not a Leabal know about the mackerel. It was very well hidden too. Interesting. Did anything weird happen before the kidnapping? Well, I called the kids to eat dinner, then Mr. Ria Bell asked me to bring the mackerel. But... No, it's nothing. I must be mistaken. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we need to ask Mr. Ria Bell because the fish was gone. Yes. After Mr. Liabel got it, not when the maid is delivering it. So let's search for Mr. Liabel, shall we? Ah, TV is torn off, I can see, and it's not broken. Good job. Good job for not breaking it, bros. Who puts a fireplace here? You, you want people to die? Oh, there's something. Oh. Coloring book inside a fireplace. Are there more of this? Perhaps we should try to search around them. The grand piano stands in the middle of the hall. Oh, one of the keys seems. Ah, yeah, I see that. One of the keys seems to be missing. Missing piano key? Indeed. Interesting, isn't it? We could uncover a bigger secret than Mackerel here. Have you found him? No, we haven't. Uh, tell me about your guess. A long time a friend of mine sent her daughter here for his summer vacation. I can say for sure that they are suspicious they were with me the entire time. So the guests are two little girls. Interesting, that's why there's coloring books. Do you have any suspect in mind? Why yes, yes I do. You see, I invited my daughter private teacher to eat dinner with us, and I don't like the way she's been looking at my maids. Now that I think about it, maid A hasn't acted the same today. So the maid and the teacher are suspects. Interesting. What is the mackerel for? Dinner? He is extremely important. My mom, my grandma, great-grandma, mom, aunt, sister-in-law, mom's friend pays it down to me. What? Mom always used to say, You're, you take care of that mackerel like it's your own child. So, please, uh, that's a very old mackerel. <laughs> Are you sure it's not dead already? Anyway, I've noted this all down. The importance of the mackerel. Yep. Thank you for your help. Yes, I'm done. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, moon. Oh, we cannot direct to that. That looks beautiful. What's outside the window? Oh, nothing. Okay. Hello, what's this? The great musicians of the world. Hercule T. Saints? I don't know that one. William B. Albert? I also don't know this person. Petrovsky? I also don't know. My god, I'm really bad at music, aren't I? Oh, hello there. Bookshelf? Yep. Kid and textbooks. Uh, we need to talk to you, aren't we? Oh, hello. I'm Yvette Zulk, elementary school teacher. Ah, so you're one of the primary suspect. I don't understand what's going on, but I'll help in the investigation. Okay. Students. I usually teach the Leabel daughter here every Wednesday. But today I was here as a guest and was asked to come see the two girls who wanted to meet me. We were reading in the bedroom when we heard Miss Leabel scream. They are such angels. I wish every one of my students were as quiet as they are. But then again, that's part of the experience of teaching. Okay. Uh, the case. I overheard the discussion. The dinner has gone missing. 
No, not the dinner. A thief? But this mansion has very tight security. Mr. Liabel had to help convince the guard that I was a guest. Yeah, that's probably an insider. Any alibi? Well, before I heard Mr. Liabel calling the police, I was reading with the kids in the bathroom. I don't know what happened, but please don't scare them. They're good kids. Okay. So you are with the kids, and the kids are with you. Interesting. So let's see. You're also the suspect, you know, Miss Liabel and Mr. Liabel. Where, where is he? The maid, I don't know. The maid delivers the fish. The fish was gone after Mr. Liabel got the fish. So it's not her, isn't it? Coloring book. Okay. Are there more of this? Yep. There's a coloring book sticking out. Are there more of this? Yep, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of coloring books. And you must be Mrs. Leabal's daughter. Hi. She knows. What? Rose knows who the culprit is. Oh, interesting. Rose. Rose? Aha, uh -huh, interesting. She's very smart. She always reads mystery books. Oh. She can help. I'll go look for her. That will be nice. What's your name? Uh-huh, what's your name? Magna. Interesting. I don't know about mysteries. Can I ask you a quick question, Magna? Where were you at dinner time? I was here with Rose. Thanks, Magna. I'll go find Rose. Okay, sure. Find Rose, then. What a bizarre case. The mackerel, this weird family. What do you think, boss? How could a mackerel mean so much? I don't know. Oh well. I have a feeling we are close to finding out the truth. We are close, but there is something missing. When we questioned everyone, I took notes of everything. And I noticed... Oh, okay. What is it? Um... Ah. You must be Rose, aren't you? Oh no, you're... Magna? Forgot. Are you a real detective? Yes, of course. I I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying my best to be a detective here. Uh, Magna? Yep, yeah, you're not Magna. Hello, Rose. We are nothing alike. Yeah, I can see that. I... I know you from somewhere. Ah, Sleepy, did you just wake up? I was taking a nap, but we were in your bedroom a second ago. Ah, well this is the dream world, don't explain that. What is it? Oh. What are you going to tell us? I was hiding. From whom? Hiding? I have a secret place. Ah, the fireplace, I guess? No? Oh, okay. Interesting. So she was sleeping inside the closet. That girl. She just told us that and left. Oh, let's get back to work then. I was rereading my notes and I noticed something odd. Let's talk about that later. I want to chat with Mr. Leabile. He must know something. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Big closet, isn't it? Okay. Something seems odd. I was reading my notes and... The alibis don't match up. I didn't want to jump to conclusions, but... Someone is lying. Magna said that she was only with Rose when the mackerel was found. Yep, the teacher is lying. Miss Label said that she was with the twins the entire time. Oh, yes. And the teacher said that she was with the twins. Interesting. So who's lying? It doesn't match up. Let's talk to the Liables again. So all of them claims to Ah Miss and Mr. Mr. Liable. We are done for.
Wh why? Because of the macro? Because of the macro is gone now? <laughs> no, don't you remember, honey? Remember what? Why? We have been ready for this for so long. After all, we have... The Cracker. Oh, of course, we have the tracking device. My, my, you were acting so well that I had completely forgotten. Interesting. So what I was going to say that some everyone claims to be with the kids. But who is the real culprit? Rose was actually sleeping all the time. See, honey, everything is going according to plan. So did everyone lie, actually? What plan? No way. Yes way. Boss, we need to talk. Okay. In this case, it's all... Let's talk in the classroom. Yep, let's talk in the classroom then. We look alike, but Magna is very active and noisy. She gets in trouble with the teachers. Wait, you two look the same. How do I differentiate you two? Ah, Rose has a lighter color. Okay then. I don't know, is it because of the lighting? Let's just see. Oh yes, Rose is a very smart kid. Isn't she? She is very smart. Okay, let's go to the classroom then. And... Interesting. Did you hear that? Something... Yeah, I definitely hear that now. That's, that's not only a broken glass, that's a bomb. Watch out! Wow, this macro cast is going wild. No, no. Boss. Okay. Stay with me, boss. Please. What happened? We have to get out of here. Who are you? Congratulations. Congratulations for what? Here are the bonuses from your, your adventure. Nice job. Who is that person? You collected all treasures. You received plus two night interaction plus forty dollars. Okay. Mission passed then. Oh, we are back at our room. Who is that person? What happened? Where, where is this macro case going? Uh, exploding. It's real. The soak room tower is real. Ha! Huh. Tomorrow I'm going back to the dream world. Throw it all in Mr. Roger's face. Okay. And we'll be a family again. Oh. Sure you will. Okay, so we have returned to our usual school life, and boy, I hope there is nothing wrong goes on again. Wait a second. Yep, yes, when I say it. What is it? Ah, oh. Alyssa's not taking her afternoon nap. Yeah, I can see that. She, she's nowhere to be found from yesterday. Did something happen? I don't know. Yeah, I don't see her anyway. Hello, what's that sound? School hall. Lucy? Yo, Erika, what is it? Do you know if something happened to Ali? Oh, you notice it. Too. I, we were talking about you, then she got really weird. Oh, she's just shy of me. You know, do you think... What is it? Do you think you could talk to her? Sure. Why not? Ellie, I think she's going through something right now. Okay. She probably went to Joe's. You know that restaurant she likes? Wait, we can go to a restaurant here? Interesting. I don't like seeing Ellie sad. Oh, neither do I. I have to go. 
Okay. So we'll talk to Alice. Go after her, okay? Okay. I won't forgive you if you don't. Oh, well, uh, wait, why do you putting all this burden on me? You can now go to Joe's. Joe, yay! You can leave the school by exiting the hall the same way as the library. Okay then. Oh, we can finally go from outside the school. That's an exciting news, isn't it? Hello. Uh-huh. Room change? Huh. No, it's Alisa. Alisa want to change the room. What is it? Oh. Interesting. Lily shows you a form with barely readable writing. Nep, that's Alisa. You wonder how she even managed to understand a word of this. <laughs> My apologies, I'll take care of this misunderstanding. Yep. Sorry to bother you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is something big then. Let's see. Okay, so I'm thinking of exploring around, see stuff, you know, before advancing, because, you know, perhaps there's something we miss. Yeah, we are. We, I am Alyssa's roommate. Claudette, Alyssa, and I are in the same class. Can we talk for a second? Sure, why not? See, I told you, there's something we will miss if we just go forward. So, I'm not saying that, like, I'm a bit of a gossip addict. But, see, I'm also not saying that, okay? Don't judge me too bad with what I'm about to say. Okay. I heard from a friend of a friend who knows about someone whose own neighbor claimed to know about Helisa household. And what they, I did hear was some good stuff. They said she grew up in a small village in the middle of nowhere, something happened with her parents, then she moved to her grandparents' house. Anyway, my source, I mean my friend, you know what I mean. They said Alisa ran away from home, left some kind of disturbing note, and there are missing posters of her all over that village, what? Crazy, huh? Uh, really crazy. Crazy indeed, Miss cheated on fourth grade math. <laughs> okay, I told you not to judge me, it's just what I heard. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm leaving, sorry. Good job. Oh. That's rude. In your mind, let me see. Alisa Almaya. Yeah, sure, no wire. Recurring client, that one. Did she ask? <laughs> Back away slowly. <laughs> Did she ask for a card reading? Yes, but not only one. Okay. Comes by every week, always the same result. Know it by heart now. Always start with the hermit. Isolation, loneliness, withdrawal. Immerse deep in personal dilemmas. You can just expect a different result if you keep doing the same thing. Okay. Thank you, Noir and teacher. Yep. <laughs> Aww. Sure. All three of them. Oh, okay. We saw by Claudette Hay, La Vie and Rose. Ah, La Vie and Rose, I know that one. Untitled by Alice, Alisa. I'll say we saw first. Colorful, to say the least. Very avant garde, unique. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely me, right? An art connoisseur. Uh huh. The painter managed to only use two shades of red for the whole painting. Yet each one of the roses seems to have a bit of a unique glow. Interesting. How about you, Alisa? Yep. It is a painting of a mirror. Its reflection shows yet another mirror, which in turn reflects a mirror showing a scribbled face. Nice. Compared to the detailed background detail, the face is tiny. If you look at the scribble in a certain light, you can see that the face was originally making an angry expression. Do you like Alisa's painting? I'm still trying to figure out the meaning behind it. Art's a way of expression too. It reflects the artist. Many great artists use their skill to express something they couldn't explain with words. I wonder if today we have completely misunderstood the meaning of some of their works. Interesting, right? Please come to stuff. We discuss this kind of stuff. Please. 
Oh, poor art teacher. Sure, sure. I will come to class. <laughs> oh, hello there, Sophia. Every day you look more and more look you're about to find or something. Anyway, what do you want? Yeah, what's new? At lunch, that's it. Okay. Uh, bye. Okay, what What else do you have? Yeah, what else? What else do you have? Any wise advice? Go wash your pants. Why you? Fine, fine, I'll just go. Hello. Your friend's waiting for you. I'm her friend too. Ah. I hope you both find happiness in this life. My name, I... I'll tell you after you talk to our friend. But be very careful with your words. If you say the wrong thing, it will go all wrong. Try telling her about the ship. Good luck, friend. Okay. Oh, that's the ghost girl. Where did she go? Yeah, that's the ghost girl. Interesting. So you're Alyssa's friend too? Interesting then. Uh, perhaps... Yes, thanks for all I... You know what, I'm gonna save money for the concert. Yes, now I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go to Joe then and we'll see what will happen from there. Lucia takes the train. Oh, it's a distant space, isn't it? It's an hour long trip to the nearest town. Joe. Lucian sits next to the window. She watches as the school seems to get smaller and smaller. Interesting. The air becomes a little lighter. And then. This is. Leur Town. Leur Town. Yeah, I already know that. Okay. Oh, as you can see, I have played for three hours. <laughs> it's a long time, isn't it? Welcome to Joe's map. Joe's ma'am? Okay. Joe's mama. What can I get you? A friend? Oh, she's on the VIP long today. VIP? Right this way, please. Okay, interesting. Oh my god. You sure this isn't a bar? Wasn't this a family restaurant? <laughs> yep. Where in the world is Elisa? Okay, let's can we yeah, we can walk there. Oh we can go oh we can go that way, that's why we can walk there. Oh my sweet, how I miss you. Your hair like a ear. <laughs> AH Lord, are you doing music or stand up comedy? No, 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 I should have bother him. What's happening? Oh, is it a bug? Yeah, I think this is a bug because nothing is happening. Very interesting. Yep, I cannot do anything. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm frozen here and I guess I have to end the video then. Because, you know, we need the developer to fix the bug. So see you later then in the next part of Apple Pie. This game is very interesting as I always say. Oh, we can see what's more for Alyssa's next. Bye bye.